as I was saying before I was cut in mid-sentence, the designers of this band are Chris Santos and Richard Aristigator. And the first section is Le Soleil Platine, Reflection. So in this band, the designers have decided to use all those materials that refract and reflect light. So we have a preponderance here of gold and silver. Le Soleil, the gold of the sun, and Platine, uh, the silver of platinum. A lot of elaborate uh, sequin work in this section. There's even an effigy of Brian Lara there, nicely costumed. Just behind the first section, which is Le Soleil Platine, it could be Platine, I didn't see an acute accent, but you never know, is Sheet Lightning, and that section in blue and silver. And there's good old Charles, Brian Charles Lara, with various bits and pieces of costume. So not only is he in Madame Tussauds, he's also here, the Green Spark Savannah in uh, this band Poison for this year Reflections. And he seems to be enjoying himself every bit as much as this <laughs> tremendous display of energy and jubilance and joy here at the Queen's Park Savannah. I guess you're marveling at the ease with which they're carrying him. Yes. <laughs> A bit of cardboard. <laughs> Has several designers, people like Chris Santos, Richard Aristogator, Sonia Mack, and Michael Headley. And earlier on, when we were talking with Thais Hart of the uh, Hearts Band, we were talking about numbers, and this is one of the bands to have come out of the Edmund Hart camp. I think uh, there was a break back in 1987 and uh, a further break I think after the 1990 mass so that you have Barbarossa one way you have uh, this band Poison uh, another way and you have the Hearts Children yet another way 
so that Edmund Hart can certainly sit down and uh, look on, I suppose, and uh, get a tremendous joy out of these bands as they parade. And I guess he did not have to lift a finger uh, to design and to supervise for the entire carnival season. I think carnival is a, is a great leveler. I'm seeing one of our ministers of government there being uh, disciplined into keeping his section as well, without any deference to his position at all. So this is one of the lovely aspects of carnival, where we're all on a level playing field, so to speak. Now that's just the second section of this band. How many sections are there in this band? Um, 15 sections. 15. So that's two of 15. Now you will recall when this band uh, came across yesterday um, with revelers, masqueraders, minus their headwear, minus standards, and there are only a few sections in this band, um, only three sections in fact, where they've got standards and uh, headpieces. Uh, but when they came across yesterday, minus their standards, minus their headpieces, uh, that I did say that come today we will see a transformation and we will not be able to believe it. Now the gold and the orange you're seeing uh, just about uh, middle of your screen off to the left, middle of the stage, uh, will be the fire opal section. The play on the uh, gem opal. There's a heavy use of sequins in a lot of these costumes. It certainly adds to the expense of the individual costumes, and this is a particularly pretty section, which bears the stamp of somebody like Santos, whose work I know very well. But certainly there's a, a team of designers there, and a formidable team indeed. There is also a heavy use of photographic foil and other uh, reflective material. And I think one of the good things about coming this way at 2.30 in the afternoon, it's now 2.35 and a half, is that you can get the sun as it is beginning uh, to go across. And uh, it can uh, really give the kind of effect, I suppose, when the sun strikes uh, the, uh, this material, give the kind of effect, again, that any designer would hope for.